A woman in Winston-Salem is recovering after nearly losing her leg. Tracy Martinez must take medication for the rest of her life after getting a strep infection from a callus shaver during a pedicure. We have a graphic image to show you in her story coming up, and we wanted to see how salons in our area aim to keep customers safe while providing services. WNCT's Courtney Allen joins us with more. Courtney. Shayla, the State Board of Cosmetic Art Examiners conduct annual inspections of salons looking out for illegal tools and other issues. Salon owners tell Nine on your side that violations can cost them a fine or a warning. The problem is it's hard for customers to tell what's a legal tool and what isn't. Nine on your side went to local salons today to get answers. Most beauty technicians' goal is to make customers feel confident. You guys both get petty, many and petty. But it's hard to feel that way following a pedicure when your foot looks like this. This photo was taken after a woman in Winston-Salem got an infection during a pedicure, nearly losing her leg. Well, how does a pedicure get infected? The salon allegedly used a razor-type callus shaver, which has been illegal in our state since 2004. Owner of Lavish Nails in Greenville, Fido, says while other foot scrapers like cheese graters and files are legal, the most important thing is sanitation of the tools. You must clean it first, disinfect it, and then we put it in the pouch and then put it in the light for half an hour. Getting another set, a new set out of that. Nail Tech's technician Kimberly Washburn says their salon uses a UV light sterilizer to disinfect all tools as well, and anything they can't disinfect, they discard. The buffers as well as the files, all the way down to the puma stones. All those can be disposed of after every client use. She says they do this to prevent any transfer of bacteria between clients. It's also important to make sure your salon has a liner on pedicure bowls or that they're cleaned properly after each use. Spray with Clorox as soon as that's done, we go ahead and we rinse the tubs down. Customers should be wary if a salon is unreasonably dirty or if the reusable tools are not sealed in the disinfecting pouches prior to use. Doe and Washburn say it's important that salons go above and beyond to ensure the health and safety of customers. It's a beauty industry. Keep it clean. The salons say it's also important to look up reviews of businesses online. Check out what their Better Business Bureau score is. Most nail salons in Greenville have A's, but some in our viewing area have C's and D's. More information can be found on our website, WNCT.com. Courtney Allen, 9 on your side.